Okay, hi everyone, my name is Vip Patel, and today I'm going to be teaching um, how to write chemical formulas for molecular compounds. And this is for anyone taking chemistry in high school or any summer course regarding chemistry. This is for you. So this is um, the right chemical formulas for molecular compounds. Okay, so if it at, let's start with the example. So let's say we're given um, sulfur dioxide, and we have to find the chemical uh, formula for sulfur dioxide. Well, in this case, we have there's several things we need to know. These are called prefixes. So let me move this over. Okay, so it's the first step is to know that these prefixes. So mono refers to one. Di refers to two. Tri refers to three. Tetra refers to four. Penta refers to five. Hexa, hexa, first to six, hepta, heptabadi, first to seven, octa, first to eight, nana, first to nine, and deca. first to 10. So these are the prefixes that you must know for naming molecular compounds. So in this case, when you're looking at sulfur dioxide, there is no prefixes. So it's just sulfur and we saw the chemical form, like the name symbol for sulfur is S. We can see that in the periodic table. And here, when we have dioxide, Oxide means it's referring to oxygen, so we know it's oxygen, but this dye tells us that there are two oxygens. So this equation would be SO2. So now we can do to leave the prefixes up. So now, in the same case, let's say we're given um, sulfur given sulfur trioxide. In this case, it would be the same thing. S O re refers to oxygen, but here we don't have a dye, meaning we have the prefix tri, and tri, we can see that that is three. So that means that there are three oxidants in this molecular compound. So this would be the formula for that. So now we can, I'll give you two here, two examples. We have um, selenium. Tetra bromide and nitrogen monoxide. Okay, so at this point, I encourage you to pause the video and try to do these given the examples we just did and check if you got the right answer.
Okay, so for selenium tetrabromide, that's an E. There are no prefixes in front of selenium. So the when we look at the periodic table, selenium, the symbol is SE. And bromide refers to bromine. So it's B, it's referring to BR. Now, and then we look at the prefixes. So we can see that tetra refers to four. So there are four bromines in this molecular compound. So that would be your correct formula. Nitrogen, there are no prefixes, so it's simply N. Monoxide refers to oxygen, right? And we can see that mono means one, so there's only one. So we don't have to write the one here because it's it's known that there is only one when you write NO. So that would be the correct answers for these. So now we can have there's we can have something like di nitrogen pentaoxide and usually if it's like something like this right they usually combine it and make it pentaoxide and this would be the same thing but here we know that pent refers to penta which is five so either case, so usually it's referred to penta, this one. So anyway, so in this case, there is nitrogen is this N, right? And there is a prefix in front of nitrogen in this case. So di, you know, refers to two. So N2, oops. Oxide refers to O, so it's just a O. And then penta refers to five. So be N2. And 205. So I can, yeah. Now there can be something like tetraphosphorus. Decasulfide. So I encourage you to, again, pause this, try it yourself, and then see if you get the right answer. So again, phosphorus, if you look at the periodic table, it's up there, but um, it's simply P. Tetra refers to four, so you know it's four. And sulfide is S. And then we look at the prefixes, and deca refers to 10, so we know there are 10 sulfides. So that would be the correct chemical formula. Okay, so now this is it's very important to memorize these. And yeah. Oops. Zoom out. Okay, so now without these, so if you want, pause this and try remembering these because there will be, it's important to memorize these in order to write these. Now we'll have a few examples, try doing them and see if you memorized them. So we'll have. And last one, we'll have carbon. Okay. 
tetrachloride. Okay, so try doing these. And try to not use the prefixes. Try to uh, not use, like, try to remember the prefixes and try to do these without them. Okay, so nitrogen, when you look at the periodic table, is simply N. And di refers to 2. So we know there are two nitrogens. Oxide refers to simply oxygen. And we know mono refers to 1. So there's only one. But we don't have to write the one because it's already known. Sulf and so that would be our final formula. Sulfur refers, refers to S. And there are no prefixes in front of uh, sulfur. So it's simply just S. It's hexabromide. Bromide refers to bromine, which is Br. And hexa, as we know for the prefixes, refers to six. So we know there are six bromines in this compound. So that would be your final formula for sulfur hexabromide. And lastly, we have carbon tetrachloride. Carbon refers to C. There are no prefixes here. There are nothing here. So it's simply the C. Tetrachloride. Chloride refers to chlorine, which is Cl. And tetra, we know that tetra is four. So there are four chlorines in this compound. So that would be our final molecular formula for carbon tetrachloride. So yeah, that's about it for how to name molecular compounds. And again, it's important to know these because you will not be giving them on any tests or something. So it's important to memorize these. Yeah, hope you learned something out of it.